Today's journey is going to be super special as we'll be traveling by a double decker train that to in India. We are traveling from Jaipur to Delhi and this train starts from the Jaipur station at 6 am in the morning. So we are all set and ready to board. This is the first time we are traveling by a double decker train and I am not quite sure about the layout. Let's go and see how it is. There are seats on the lower deck and also on the upper deck. Our seat is on the upper deck. We have boarded the train sitting in our cozy seats all set to start the journey. It's going to start in few moment and this is our first time traveling in a double decker train. And what I have heard before is that the seats might not be that comfortable because of the height can be a little short but I think that is not a issue for us at least right Yeah it's quite comfortable and the seats are also pretty nice The train just started Here we go out of Jaipur now Yeah We just had some morning snacks and right now we are traveling towards uh, Delhi. It has been some time well into the journey and till now it has been a very comfortable ride. We will be traveling for 303 kilometers today and we will be covering this entire stretch in 4 and a half hours. In between there is going to be four stations and I believe this is going to be a very comfortable journey. The seats are really cozy and comfortable. The AC is working fine and our stomach is full as well. Our destination would be Delhi Sarai Rohila station. That's somewhere near to our hotel that is in Janpath. or in the Kanauts place that's where we opted for that station and i think we will be getting a public transport from there very easily to our hotel Uts of forcibly took the window seat from me. This is the first time I got a window seat after 5 years. This is the first time you are traveling by a train in 5 years. We are almost halfway. We just crossed Alwa station and we are now going towards Gurgaon. Traveling through Indian railways can be a little confusing. and they have stumbled upon this fantastic app known as rail jatri it gives you the exact location of the platform from where the train will depart and the number of stations you can also track the life status of the train how far it has reached and how long it will take to get to the destination it is a great app it is a must have for anyone traveling through indian railways after having three cup of coffee i'm still struggling to keep myself awake but the good thing is we are almost going to get down right now and we have crossed gurgaon the delhi rohila station coming up. We have just arrived at Delhi Rohila station and this is the upper deck of the double decker train with nice comfortable seats and big luggage space at the top. The train journey was very good and very comfortable. Now it's time to get down and get to our stay.
Here we are, we have reached Delhi. And from here we have to catch a local transport to get to our hotel. Let's go out and see what we can get. Yeah. Coming to an Indian railway station and finding an escalator might be a bit of a shock, but not anymore. Most of the railway stations in India right now are providing escalator services in the platform. We have hired a cab and it's going to cost us 250 rupees to get to our stay. We are just standing in front of Doom Dooms. We are waiting for the cab driver to get some change and then we will go in and check it. We have just checked into the Bloom Room. We will freshen up a bit and definitely the Doom Tour is on the other side. Welcome to our room tour in Delhi. We are staying at Bloom Rooms at Jalpur. Come along. It's so hot in Delhi. First, I had to turn off the AC. To my left is a space where you can keep your things. And we have already created a mess here. <laughs> and there is also a safe where you can keep your valuables. The room is pretty nice and big and we have this huge cozy bed here. Next up, we have this television and right at the opposite, we have this big mirror. Next, as you enter, you can see a desk, a chair and a nice light. You can definitely use this for some reading or working purposes. They have also given two bottles of water. And there is this huge window. From here you can even see the parliament. And right at the opposite to the desk is the washroom. Please ignore our soiled towels. We just had a bath. The washroom is clean and cozy. The WC is very clean. There is a sink here and there is this mirror. They have also given hand wash and there are towels for face as well as bath. I like the vibe of this room. It's kind of cozy, spacious and colorful. They have used yellow bright colors all over. Maybe it is their theme color but we already liked it. We chose to stay here because it's right at the heart of Delhi and it's very nearby to Connaught Place or CP as it is popularly called. We spent 8000 rupees for 3 nights. So that's it from our room tour and if you like to see what we post please do like share and subscribe to our channel Bonkers Note. We are all set and ready to explore Delhi now so we'll see you in the next one.